right after I do the crossword puzzle. <laughs> What art is shown off and sold? Oh, where art is shown off in? Gallery? Is it an E or an A? Yes. Not a hold on. We should have figured that one out. We were just in one. Oh. Damn it. These beans are Colombian, a medium fine city roast. And don't let the water boil too much. You're gonna be fine, I'll be here the whole time. Uh. That's why I need to work on my guts. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. That's because the acidity and the flavor profile depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Oh. Somebody's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want to. Oh, but hands off the expensive beans, got it? Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Something about quantification of taste. There's no formula for flavor, but it's pretty damn good. Anyhow, we don't make compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's got a wow the customers. This is a tiny shop after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. You. Haven't I already told you I don't have the money? Look at this place. You see many customers in here. Oh, no need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have had saved plenty from when your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too? For nothing more than charity, I don't know why all my guys sound like thugs. I wish you'd show me the same kindness you show others. <sighs> if you're not planning on buying anything, can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can have you to your little friend here in the meantime. So should we keep talking until your call comes in, or would that be too inconvenient for us? Everybody who's like, stand up. Well, looks like Sojiro's in trouble. What should I do? Oh, there's that social services call I was waiting for. They sure come around pretty often to make sure guy's not getting in any trouble. Want to introduce you? Oh, that's right. I, I have some business I need to take care of. Um, see you later. Thank you. Does he really have nothing better to do? I guess I should explain what's going on. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. That old man is an acquaintance of mine who's short on cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you, it's all an act. I have to say though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stunt off. You really saved me. Thanks. Ooh. Yes. Stop. 
Still, why do other people poke around in others' troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. I guess that's just the kind of person you are, though, huh? Is that time already? I'd report him to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Oh well, never mind. Anyways, that's it for today. Go study or something after you close. Hey! Ooh, nice! I need to switch my movie. Hey, hero. Sorry about today. Didn't mean to get you wrapped up in my problems. I probably don't have to say it, but if that guy shows up while I'm out, just try to ignore him, okay? Just let him do his thing and get on with the job, got it? Good. Whenever he says, just don't let it get to you. You're still under probation, so don't cause a scene, yeah? Alright, I'm trusting you on this. is ill, but the exhibit is still going strong. I can't respect him as my sensei anymore, but it's sad to think I don't have a mentor. Who? Talk? To you? Now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever had someone I could simply talk to. Well, perhaps I may need a sounding board sometime. I hope you'll humor me then. found out how scary cats can be. Hold on. I'm on it. Oh, what happened on my way to school this morning? I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up in a tree. I tried rescuing it, but I sense I felt bad for it. But I ended up with the clawing of a lifetime for the effort. I had no idea cat's claws were so sharp. Speaking from experience, it uh, really does hurt a lot. But I was able to rescue the kitten, so it was all worthwhile. All I really had to do was make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well, let's move on and talk about a different kind of pain. We discussed this for a bit last time when you talked. Actually, the pain felt within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illnesses. But when it comes to pains of the heart while working in unknown territory, there's so much we haven't learned yet. Treating trauma is sure as difficult when it's invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way, like putting antibiotics on scratch. How astute of you! As a matter of fact, you're not too far off the mark. Unfortunate as it may be, we all know there's no topical med medicine that can properly heal an our heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Whoa. Whoa, it's me! My heart is in such pain, it's like I'm being pierced through the chest! Whoa. I have such torture as burning deep inside me! Sorry, that was a poor attempt at acting. Please don't look at me like that. But, um, basically what I'm getting at is our own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. 
That seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand. As a person's heart, their pain cannot be seen. Even if they spent their whole lives expressing it to others, there is no way for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can directly look at their hearts and remove the root causes of their pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to a breakthrough in this field. Once that's been figured out, we'll not only comprehend that psychological pains that were once unknowable, but we'll even be able to perform more efficient treatment for those people with wounded hearts. I'm no saint. I just want to do my job well. If we can get rid of people's pain, that'd be for the best, right? I'm no fan of pain myself. Ma. On the other hand, people have laughed off my idea as just silly. Pointless dream, and I can't say I blame them. But still, you have the time. Take the time to listen to what I have to say, and you actually try to understand. Thanks to you, I can tell I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say you're making this hazy, hard to grasp idea finally appear before me. Hazy. Hmm, treasures, hazy. This guy 100% knows about the continent of the world. Say, would you might like to be my assistant? Of course, I'm on a shooting budget, so I wouldn't be able to pay you. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly eager! Maybe you really will become a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I truly am grateful for your assistance. Thank you. Yes. Hmm, nothing this one. Let's put a pin on that for today, shall we? I hope you'll lend an ear again when you've got spare time to spare. Now, I know you've been waiting for this, so let's get to the mental training. Yay, plus five FP. Yes. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Nope. Happy pop. Be careful on your way home. Do you have a moment? Today got pretty one-sided. I just kept on rambling. That <laughs> keeps happening. I should have asked sooner, but is this leaving you with any mental fatigue? Is your schoolwork being affected? Really? Thank goodness. I was worried. Not every guy wants a middle-aged weirdo rambling to them about a bunch of philosophical abstracts. I know it's asking a lot, but it'd be great if we could keep... Uh, what? A station? Sorry. I think the tourists need help. I better go.
wasn't that great. <sighs> okay, that's all for today. Hello, Dr. Takamika Clinic of Eternal Medicine. That's, well, the ship's already sailed, so... <sighs> what a pain. Remember that girl from the other day? The Chief of Staff for your medicine patient? Her dad's been bringing her here to be treated, even though I referred them to another hospital. I even told them about the medical error I made. I'm just a quack, though. Mm. The medical error was well documented. Everyone in my field knows about it. I led the development of a new drug for incurable illness called Crawford Ends Disease. Although I was the one who administered the medicine, it was the cause of the error. With Crawford ends, certain cells indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. When it reaches the muscles, the patient slowly begins to die. There hasn't been much progress made on it, partly because there haven't been many cases. I worked with a pharmaceutical company that had reached the final stage of production, but... One day, I was suddenly removed from my position. The chief of staff, Oyamata, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. I don't know if he wanted the glory of developing a new drug or to become rich and famous, but he, careless, he made careless mistakes and rushed completion so he could use it on a patient named Miwa. Mio-chan had a reaction and lapsed into critical condition. The chief panicked and laid the blame on me. Mio-chan and her family resented me. No matter what I said, I couldn't change how they felt. No. Well, that doesn't matter. The, the development of the medicine was suspended, and I had no reason to stay at that hospital. At least now I can keep working as a general practitioner on my own team. Terms with my guinea pig. That's the new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is its final testing stage. It serves just for those cells that take the offense and destroys them upon detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease. Probably. <laughs> you have a lot of faith in me. Thank you, my little guinea pig. Nah. You'd better not flake on me this late in the game. I'm inching closer to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. In exchange, I can offer you medicine at a special price. I'm counting on you, guinea pig. Yes. Hmm. Now, what should I do about that girl and her dad? Being mean and scaring them hasn't worked. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of nuisance. It's stressing me out. 
Sorry, that's all I wanted to talk to you about. You can go home. Mm. Thank you. You doing okay, my little guinea pig? Just wanted to check up on you. Also, sorry for the long talk today. I wasn't planning to tell you all that. Yeah, you're the first person I've really shared that with. But it was also a good reminder. This is something I have to do as a plague. Thanks to you, the drug's development is progressing very smoothly. If there are no issues with the latest sample, I think we're right on the edge of finally finishing it. Sorry, looks like I've got a patient. Maybe that girl and her dad came back. I have to go. See you later. I do want to finish that one, but I want to read, get the, I really want my guts to go up. I can't believe I had to look up a guide to figure out how to read. Stupid. I didn't see that there. It like blends in. I was looking at the chairs because I thought that the chairs were how I read. Baka baka she. I mean, in real life, I hate how did you do? Whoa. It's so crowded, just like I expected. The perfect place to start our investigation. But I gotta say, I wasn't expecting all of you to come along. I had a photo shoot nearby, so I figured, why not? But why Harajuku, Mishima? Well, Harajuku is the big cultural hub, right? Oh, sorry. People from all over the world come here. <laughs> so that means there might be all kinds of international villains walking around in broad daylight. How about those guys that stop you? Like, those guys need their heart stealing. Leather long clothes at this time of year. He's gotta be shady. Ah, 
on all those belts must be supplies so he can tie people up. Oh man, do you think he's an escaped convict? No, I'm pretty sure that's just a goth style. But my phantom thief senses are tingling. So you think it's with Spicky Say Roy? Um. What? But he's so suspicious! He's gotta be evil. If you think he's that suspicious, then go talk to him. Me? You're the one who's all hyped up about this investigation, right? So, hey, go up to the guy and say, Yo, Captain Trenchcoat, sorry to bother you, but you an escape convict? Huh? You gotta be kidding me! He would have his belt around my neck before he even finished talking! <sighs> it's normal to see people dressed in unusual clothes here. Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. Like, they've got the confidence to wear whatever they want, you know? Like, nothing's gonna keep them from expressing their own style. Cool, not, they're definitely not letting anyone hold them back. What do you think about unique fashion like this, hero? You said Whoa, really? I guess we could spend the day transforming you. I'm thinking heart-shaped glasses, dye your hair red, blue, and we'll get you a pretty puffy lamented coat. You just say, want to make him wear the weirdest stuff you can find. I'll coordinate Hero's wardrobe. Mm -hmm. We could go for a bad boy look or maybe something princely. You've got potential. This should be fun. Anyway, no more judging people by their appearance. If they're wearing what they want to wear, that's something to admire. Heck, I'd say it means they're honest. Not like people who seem nice on the outside but turn out to be terrible. I guess you're right. Lady Anne is absolutely mm -hmm. right. After all, I look like a cat, but I'm actually a dashing noble gentleman. Now that I think about it, it's kind of Harajuku to walk around with a cat in a bag. True! He's like a really specialized fashion accessory. Is that a compliment? I guess you're a lucky hero. You can get popular just by having me around. So, Mishima. I take it you didn't have any leads here. No. <sighs> Figures. Well, as long as we're here, let's have some fun. Then let's get Hiro dressed up. Oh, and Mishima too. Maybe Ad Anne can get rid of your weird anti-Hirozuku prejudice. Huh? huh? Me too. Actually, if I, you've gotten any hill in town for fashion, this would be the perfect chance to discover it. Lady Yan, Lady Yan, help me get all fashionable too. All right, we can squeeze in a trip to the pet shop for Morgana. I'm not a pet. You know, Avery, sometimes it sounds like your cat's really doing in on a conversation. Then let's get going. Just follow me. I know a place. It's all you, Miss Fashionista. moment he's still bedridden. Wait, you think this was too much for that old bastard's heart? There is no need to worry, his life does not appear danger. I hope we didn't F up on our first official mission. Can he talk at all? So far all he has said to me is I'm sorry. I haven't been able to speak to him since. He is in no state to hold a conversation. For real? If he ends up taking legal action, our leader will be in big trouble. You are under probation, correct? That would be problematic. Hey, we're gonna be okay, aren't we? If you says so, I'm sure it's true. I'll contact you if any progress is made. Let's just wait for the change of heart now. Yeah, we'll be waiting for your updates, you stay. Ooh, I got two. Yes. Give me those presents for my ladies. Nana. All right, what do we got? So 
てっと。It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. Good. I hope you glean something useful from today's speech. You must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one on one. By the way, I forgot. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> so you're pragmat. Most people are nowadays. But that mentality of taking action is the quality of a good politician. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? Yes, don't ever forget that. Although what's important is what lies within. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. Remember that. I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... Never give up until your voice is heard. To get your message across, be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. Hell out of here, no good to oh right, mean people are all gangsters. They're right, I am no good. Uh, my apologies, we're done for today. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Nay. Mata, Yoroshiku Tanumio. I wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward right after I gave you that self-important lecture too. I'm quite the stubborn individual. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do, but what do you think? Did you take anything useful on this? Really? I was expecting to have such an impact, but I'm glad if it helped somehow. I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Bye! I'm excited. <gasps> I was thinking it might be her. No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I think it was her. But I think it was her. But I think it was her. But I think it was her. 
ですから。おいしそうしいなら番号を渡すからね。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待
So <laughs> Everyone is so plain looking. And then like Ryuji and Anne are like, boom! Hey! ちゃんと交番に届けた方が良くねっすかなんだよ。普通のこと言っただけだろ。みんなの公園をこんなに汚して、これも悪い大人の仕業だな。ペットボトルの蓋。よく見たら私にもらえる。別にいいですけど。あ
大事なものは話しちゃダメだよすみません話の途中でそうです私1年の吉沢かすみですさっきのですよね私新体操をやっていてでもコツさえつかめば簡単なんですよこうトントーンって新体操かなるほどななあの動きを覚えておいたら役に立つんじゃないかちょうど怪盗団も戦力アップが必要だと思ってたんだ先輩どうしましたというか猫いるんですかね<笑>なんか鳴き声が先輩新体操に興味があるってことですか嬉しい私でよければぜひと思ったんですけどもしよければ私からもお願いがあっていいでしょうか実は最近演技の調子があまり良くなくていろいろ考えてしまうんですなので都合のいい時にちょっと相談に乗ってもらえたらなってもちろんです技術的な指導というよりも特別な話を聞いていただければなってなるほど悪くない取引なんじゃないかありがとうございます取引成立ですねなんてイエーイの身のこなしは常人離れしていると報告にあるわ特殊な器具の扱いにも心得があるよねその手の指導を誰かから受けていたそう考えるのが自然じゃないかしらどうなの答えなさい Yoshi. しませんかあれ電源落ちてるすみません最近スマホの調子が悪くてあ着きました時間ある時にでも連絡させてください囚人学園の生徒はまもなく清掃活動終了です食べた後のゴミは捨てずに所定の場所に集めてください今日はそのまま解散になりますお疲れ様でした清掃活動終わりみたいですねちょうどジャージだし少しだけ基礎練やって帰りますかまずは体幹からです基盤の体づくりは大切ですからお
because I get seasick easily. So much for my dream of being a sailor. Oh right, when people think of sailing on the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Even though those ruffians who plunder their ships on coasts or settlements through ports, for some reason they ended up getting romanticized. Now then, Iroi Do you know which peg leg pirate choking historical figure appearances became little shorthand for pirates? Correct! Oop. The story of Long John Silver is in, informs much of our modern view of pirates. Unfortunately, he only exists in fiction. In terms of non fictional pirates, well, Captain William Kidd had made quite a name for himself, I'd say. Maybe you're familiar with the story of his execution, how he declared that he hid all his treasures in one place. Though no, research seems to indicate that he didn't actually have much. Still, several novels were written based on his legend, and people still look for his treasure today. By the way, I've heard that there's an island in Kyushu where kids' treasure is said to sleep. Mm. Regardless of its actual work, there's still value in letting many people dream. This is my favorite old anchor chief. Oh, it was right in front of me, so. Oh my, you're a shy one, aren't you? I'm not shy. My neighbor speaks highly of you. She says your medicines are better than those at big hospitals. It's very reassuring to have such a distinguished doctor right here in town. I'll see you again soon. <sighs> what the heck? Thanks to you. Uh, there's a lot of talk going around about started by that girl and her dad. Apparently, they've been telling everyone that I make all these amazing medicines and remedies. So now the number of patients I'm seeing has increased dramatically. I don't know what some of these people are thinking, though. I've had a lot of crazy requests. 
Like yesterday, a patient requested a sweet-smelling compress. And the other day, I had a request for a cold buster. <laughs> a drug like that deserves a Nobel Prize. Other requests include hair and skin tonics. I even had to do a consultation about a cat. <laughs> I'm not, it's not like I'm some kind of genius doctor. No, this is all interfering with development. I'm only interested in completing my new drug. That's my role as a plague. I'm not suited for all this other stuff. What? Really? Well, you're entitled to your opinion. But a town doctor, huh? That sort of lifestyle profession might have been possible for me at one time, but now... Hmm. Oh yeah, about those clinical trials. With so many patients, it's taking longer to analyze the data, so I need to catch up. This is a bit on the stronger side, but I'm sure you'll be okay. gonna make a full recovery. The treatment seems to be a good match for her, so the least I can breathe a little better. Hopefully she'll be able to attend school now. Nice. What are you so happy about? Are you excited for your next clinical trial? Well then let's have some fun. Bye. How's my little guinea pig doing after the ketchup drug? I know it was probably a lot to handle considering I doubled the dosage and half the activation time. But we're so close. We're right at the end of all this. I can feel it. I'll need you to stick around just a little bit longer. I hope you can handle it. Well, aren't you a little go getter If you're that excited about it, maybe I'll give you a dose of everything and see how you hold up. Well, we've got some catching up to do. I have to process today's data as quickly as possible. Make sure to call if you ever feel sick. Oh, Kaeta Ka. Na. Yes. But before that, I'm gonna take a quick break, so I will be back. <laughs> 